Hey guys, a very good evening to all of you. So there is a very important research update. In, in fact, it is not very important, but it's a very interesting research update. And I could not stop myself from posting this on YouTube. Um, it, it is a very relatable post and you would be able to clearly see that how the scientists worked out to, to basically, you know, convert this research into something very meaningful and useful. Uh, generally, I post the um, science updates and research updates on the Instagram handle Reagent Blues. So, if you want to see these posts more frequently, you could follow Reagent Blues uh, Instagram handle, right? So, uh, coming to this research, uh, let's have a close look at the background. So, when we talk about dental health, and in den dental health, we have cavities, right? Um, you might have heard about, uh, you know, lot of you you might, yourself might have undergone a treatment to treat cavities and caries. So uh, first of all, you know that a temporary filling is done and then a permanent filling is done. So there are a lot of materials which are available for permanent filling. But for temporary filling, you need a very specific material that binds very strongly, but then it is also very easy to remove it because it is a temporary filling. Now, a lot of research is going on to build a very good temporary material. And this research is related to that, that we have to design a material which basically binds very strongly but at the same time it kind of like gets removed easily so currently the kind of research or the kind of filling that is done temporary filling that needs to be you can say uh, like it has to be mechanically removed and when you mechanically remove a temporary filling it always damages your enamel okay it, uh, it damages the outer layering of your teeth so there is a requirement of a material which can be easily removed without the use of any mechanical force and this research is related to that. So basically, whatever sticky materials you use or resins that you use to uh, basically use as a temporary filling, they are basically um, to give them stability. We use cross linkers. Okay, we use cross linkers. So if this cross linker is somehow uh, broken by any external stimuli, like for example, there has been a lot of research which has been done to break these cross linkers by electrical current or by increasing temperature okay so you can break these cross linkers and if you break the cross linkers of the resin then that resin remove like it can be easily removed okay because it gets basically it gets uh, you can say uh, disframed or disfigured okay it gets disfigured and you can easily remove it so but you know in dental uh, uh, you know in hospitals specifically or in dental clinics electrical stimuli and you know thermal conditions cannot be easily applied so there's a you there's a need for a more easier way to basically uh, break these cross links. So what these scientists have done, they have come up with a very interesting um, you know interesting way. So you can see the structure over here. Okay, you can see the structure over here, and in this structure you can see there's an ester group. Okay, so this ortho uh, phenyl ester group is actually can be disjointed by a UV linker. So what they have done is see. Let's say there are raisins over here. Let's say these are the raisins. And over here, we have a, uh, you know, a big molecule, let's say, like this, okay? And through this, we are passing a cross-linker. So over here, you can see that we have, let's say, a group, which is let's say, UV labile. That means if you shine UV light upon it, this group can be easily removed. And if this group can be easily removed, you can see that the cross-link will automatically break. So they have a very bulky group in the center, uh, and then they have a UV labile group over here. So what happens when you when you take this resin and you put it in the cavity, it is very very strong. Okay, but as soon as you uh, shine some UV light upon it, what will happen? This is a UV labile material and this will get broken. And as soon as this get gets broken, you can see that the cross link will break. And once the cross link breaks, the uh, resin gets disfigured and you can easily remove the resin. Okay, now a very interesting fact that UV light is also harmful to humans if you use a particular specific wavelength of the light so to improve upon the wavelength you can see that you can see that there's an orthophenyl ester group so if you make substitutions on the orthophenyl ester group by attaching a chromophore you know that when you attach oxochromes and chromophores what happens um, you know the lability of the particular group will obviously decrease or increase basically you might have studied about your uh, the Wood, Woodman, woodward's rule right so at what particular frequency it will absorb the light, right? So basically when you attach oxochromes and chromophores, um, the UV wavelength can be changed and it, co it can be brought in a particular wavelength which is not harmful to the humans. And UV light is generally used a lot in the dental setup. 
So this is one of the very interesting research that was done. It was uh, published in ACS Applied Materials. Um, you can see the screenshot over here. I will give you the link down in the description box also in case you wish to study it. Um, it's, it was a very interesting piece of research which utilized a lot of concepts that we study in chemistry. So I thought of sharing, with, sharing it with you. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, if you did not like it, there's pretty much nothing that I can do about it. Uh, anyway, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do that. It motivates me a lot. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, so I'm a verified educator on Unacademy and along with that, I'm also available on the Unacademy Plus platform where I'm taking live classes along with other educators. So in case you're interested in attending the live classes, you can subscribe to the Unacademy Plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you're not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is ACT once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform all right